The conditioning of the air in the two cargo compartments is fully automatic. The operation for both compartments is similar, so we will only look at the forward cargo compartment initially. Ambient air from the cabin area enters the cargo compartment via an inlet isolation valve. The air is removed from the compartment either by an extractor fan or by differential pressure. The air is discharged overboard via an outlet isolation valve. The operation of the two isolation valves and the extraction fan is controlled automatically by a cargo ventilation controller. To provide heating of the cargo compartment, hot bleed air is supplied via a trim air valve. The operation of the cargo trim air system is very similar to the trim air system for the air conditioning system. Each cargo compartment has a cargo heating controller, which controls the trim air valve position to regulate the temperature of the compartment. Let's look at the ECAM conditioning page to see how information on the cargo conditioning system is presented to the pilots. The cargo heating system is an extension of the air conditioning system. Hot air is routed from the trim air system for the forward cargo hold and via an independent hot air valve for the aft cargo hold. On the ECAM conditioning page, the indications associated with the cargo compartments are the isolation valves, the trim air valves, the duct inlet temperature, the compartment temperature, and the aft cargo hot air valve. Notice that there are no indications for the extractor fans. On the overhead panel, there is a cargo heat panel, which contains the controls associated with cargo heating and conditioning. For each cargo compartment, there is an isolation valve push-button switch. These push-button switches normally remain in their lights-out auto position. In this case, the cargo ventilation controller will automatically open and close the isolation valves. The temperature selectors send demand signals to the associated cargo heating controllers. The cargo heating controllers then move the trim air valves to adjust the temperature of the air entering the compartment. The hot air push button switch controls the aft cargo compartment hot air valve via the aft cargo heating controller. This push button switch normally remains in the lights out auto position. Notice that the forward cargo compartment does not have an independent hot air valve. The forward cargo trim air system is fed from the cabin hot air valve. The normal operation of the cargo conditioning system only requires following pilot inputs Confirm that the push-button switches are in their normal, lights-out position, and set the required temperatures. Note that the mid-position of the temperature selector is approximately 16 degrees Celsius.